Today I've got my 79th Lego haul and this is just a mix of a little bit of things from Shields and two shop at home orders over the end of January and early February. And we'll start out with the series 22 CMFs that I found at Shields as well as a couple from my shop at home order, which we have the ice king or ice warrior minifig which is not one that was really high on my wanted list but i'm okay with getting this anyway especially with getting another dog for my animal collection especially one that's somewhat unique and then you also get that printed shield piece which is really nice with that minifig another interesting alien minifig which is nothing too special but you do get that printed one by one cylinder piece with that minifig, so that's really great. And then we've got the two duplicate minifigs, which is duplicates to my most wanted series 22 CMF, which I actually found these at Shields. And I'm not complaining even though these are duplicates because I wanted these for my farm area. So I'm really happy to add these. To the collection you guys will see these added in the farm very soon and then we've got the lego city kids playground poly bag which i found at shields for five dollars which was a gift with purchase for spending forty dollars on city stuff back in the month of january on shop at home or at the lego store and you get too many figs and a little couple of small builds with this so I mean ten dollars just in the minifigs and a couple of small builds with that it's not bad for five bucks so I'm not complaining and then we've got two separate shop at home orders here we've got one that's right on the mark here at two hundred dollars to get the vintage taxi and one that's slightly over and we've got for the smallest set here. Actually, the smallest set is actually the chicken stunt guy. We've got the second Lego City stunt bike for my collection. And the only other one that I want to get. And then we've got the Lego City Picnic in the Park set, which I would have actually gotten a lot sooner, but I can't find it anywhere. So I ended up ordering one copy from Shop at Home, hoping to get at least maybe another copy, if not a few more. If I can't pick a brick, order the parts to make that tree. And then, as you've seen, we've got two vintage taxis, and I do actually plan to build both of these, unlike the Amelia Era promos that I got last year, which are still currently sealed in their boxes. But the reason for building these is because I'm actually going to swap out both of the other taxis that I have in the city already. And then we've got the Lego Friends apartment set. Which this is actually not my set. This is my mom's for her investments. And that is going to be sitting in my closet along with a couple of our other investment sets including probably one of my sets that I got for my birthday. So that'll be fun to just have that just sitting sealed. And then finally, we've got the big thing that'll probably not be an investment set, but it'll definitely be sitting sealed for quite a while just because I don't have room for it in my city. And that is the Lego Ideas Home Alone set, and I'm a really big fan of the movie, especially the first two Home Alone movies, so when I saw that this set had hit 10,000 supporters back in July of 2020, and was going to become an official Lego set, I was absolutely hooked, and knew I wanted to get at least one copy of this set myself, so for a 20 month wait, to finally get this set, I jumped on it when the taxi promo was going, and this was 
not on back order or out of stock. So I jumped on that. And that is everything that I've got for my 79th Lego haul. And you guys can tell me your thoughts on this video in the comment section below. And just like and subscribe for more because I will do more in the future.